Hiya everyone, I've just done this makeup look and this is the vlog. I'm going to be putting a link up if you want to have a look at the makeup look. It's a tutorial, it's a bit of a surprise one and it was quite fun to do. But anyway, this is just a little vlog and I keep saying vlog but it's not, it's like a video vlog so I have to get with the programme. Um, I don't have a great load to tell you but this is mostly just reflecting on the past. July 2007 I started my YouTube channel. So it's been five years now and there's a little moral to my story. It'll probably go around, I'll go off in a tangent and all that kind of stuff but I'll come back to it. I'm going to show you some photos as well, right? Um, so five years ago I started on YouTube and it's it's absolutely flown and I know this might sound silly but all you young'uns out there who think you're never going to get old and you might be like making f different choices you might be thinking of different things, like problems might be occurring and you don't know how to handle it and I don't know. J basically, time flies and if you get any chance of something that you really want, you've just got to go for it, seriously. Trust me, I'm at the other end of the five year and there's certain things that I would have done different and there's certain things that I'm so glad I got the chance of doing that five years ago I really couldn't have imagined that would happen. And so all I'm saying is time flies and you've really got to just bite, take the bull by the horns and just get what you can out of life, as long as you don't hurt anybody, of course. But honestly, I never ever thought I'd say 30. I know that sounds stupid, but I, when I was like 12 and 13, I thought 30 was like, oh, it's just miles away. But I'm 30 now. And so it does happen. And anyway, photos. Okay, so this is the one I found of Mindy. This is Mindy the Pom, which is not a pot of pom. I was conned and scammed and given some sort of big spits, but she's still lovely. But she's not a Pomeranian, which we've sold as. But there she is, there. And that's her in my work drawer when I used to work at a taxi company answering the phones. And I used to just pop her in the drawer in her blanket and I would just answer the phones while she was there. And she kept us company, so I used to love taking her into work. That's that photo. This is a photo that you might not have seen. I don't think you will have done. I've never given it to anybody. But this is a really old photo. And it's of me and Jordan when he was a little baby. And I have probably 15 going on 16 there. And honestly, even then, I never thought I'd get a 30. It was like years ahead, you know? So... Just goes to show so much can happen in such a short space of time. Me dogs are kicking off in a horrible way because it's dinner time. And when my mum rang today, she says, Lauren, you sound like you're living in an Avery. So there you go. But that's that one. I'm going to see if they go quiet. But they're not going to. Anyway, quick. That's a school for I don't want you laughing. Look at it. Look at the stupid fringe. I used to think that looked good. Like proper, um, I look like a chaff. But with, uh, look at the eyebrows. Look how unplucked. I don't even look like the same person. That's freaky. Sometimes when I look at photos of myself when I was growing up, I like, I don't know, but maybe it's because I put weight on and I didn't look after myself. I look at the younger photos of me and think, what have I done to that girl? Do you know what I mean? Do you ever do that with your photos? It might sound silly, but I do. I think, I've wrecked that young girl. I just feel like that, especially. And I felt especially like that when I left. Um, I think I was working in a news agent. I went into a bar. And I went into a taxi company to work. And then I really didn't enjoy it. It was boring. The only thing I kept saying was I used to love yapping with the old people on the phone at night, right? I know it sounds really sad, but I used to love it. I used to pass my time away. And I was good at answering phones that were, where's my taxi, and swearing. But I was good at all that, so I didn't mind, and I enjoyed it. But that was the only thing I enjoyed about it. So, I used to do horrible night shift and stuff. And when you've got a young'un, and you go to school, you can't always go and do a full-time career. It just, kids and careers don't always go together unless you've got help. And I, I didn't have it apart from my mum, so... It wasn't always easy, so I took part-time jobs and jobs I wasn't really keen on. And so I felt like I let that girl down, because I certainly wasn't following my dreams sat in a taxi office. But then I decided to put money away each week, go on eBay, sell some makeup, 
and then I'd do the videos through YouTube and show you how to apply it and all that, all the makeup that I was selling and get back and then YouTube took off and nobody could have imagined that, certainly not me. So it just goes to show you don't know what's around the corner. But you have to fight for your dreams. And makeup, it's, it's not important. It doesn't make it re really happy. Something stuck to my lip. Ugh. Makeup makes you feel a little bit better when you put it on because it's almost like a mask. But you know, it doesn't make you happy inside here. Yeah, you've really got to work on your personality. So that's the most important thing. And there you go. And back then, I was not a horrible kid. But people used to pick on us so much that I felt like I had to wear makeup to fit in. And I really didn't. Because that's not a bad looking person. But I believed I was hideous because of the way they made us feel. Anyway, the fringe is hideous though, I tell you. Horrible. Whoa. Right, this one's funny. This is me on a railway station platform. I think I had either wine gums or fruit pastels. I've got the devil grin. My uncle used to call us Damien and he used to check my head for the three sixes because I was a bit of a demon. But I think I still got my first shoes. I don't know where they are, but I think I have. And I was eating something, but that was them. I used to just sit. My dad used to take photos of trains and stuff. It's a proper train spotter. I haven't took after a mind train spotting, but Jordan likes watching things like that. But there's me with me favourite dog, and I've still got that dog. Except now, my mum stole its voice box out of it to use one one of our college projects, and she replaced it with something that sounds like it's dying. And she thought that was funny at the time, but it really scared the crap out of me when I switched my teddy on and pulled the string, because all you can hear is. I love you, mommy. And it sounds like a creepy doll. And I don't know where she got the voice box from, but she stole my teddy one and put a rotten doll one in. And I've still got the teddy somewhere. I'll show you it another time. And then I've got... These are my art bits. I took them to Asda to go in the photocopier. They're just... I don't know what the pastel drawings. There's a couple on my website. Just a couple. But there's loads of different ones. I just... These are just all the little... Bits and bobs, they're all Bob Ross inspired. I sat with the books, I copied, I added to, I made my own, I just borrowed ideas, I used the colours, and I've done quite a few of them. And these are just little photocopy ones. I don't know, that's not that good. That was maybe one of the starty ones, but I love the grass. The grass looks real. Do you know what I mean? I was dead excited about that effect that I made. And I love the little hot ones with the lights on because it looks cosy like somebody's there. Yeah. What else? Oh yeah, and there's another one. But there's nobody in that one. It's dark. But it's in the woods. And again, I love the fact that I created that grass. It was dead chuffed. What else? That's alright. But they're not great. They're just little bits and bobs. that I, I do a load of things that have colour in. I love colour. In fact, I planted in the garden so much colour that the next people that move here, because of the way the neighbours are around here, they like the lawns dead flat with them. Um, they go back and forth with them more. So you've got the light up stripe and the dark green stripe. But I'm a complete fruit loop. And I like a bit of colour at the front. And so I probably stand out. And I can imagine people are cruel. People talk. I bet you people talk. They're bound to. Because I don't have the same front as other people's. So, but I love colour, you see, so I like to be different. And there's me little mountains. There's loads of different ones. If you want, I'll put a photo of them on my blog. You can have a look at them there. Oh, this is my first ever one. And I loved it. It's a copy. It's a copy of Bob Ross. I copied it with pastel. But it, it's my favourite one because I was so chuffed with the rocks and the water. I couldn't believe that I'd had done it because I really hadn't done anything like that before. So I was really chuffed. And then I've done this one. It's like a murky water swamp. But it's, it's not all that great. But I, I was getting it. Lots of practice. I've got a load of these. If you want to see them, I'll stick them on my blog. I'm a terrible whinger. I whinge like crazy, you know. And then I think of these people who get out there and they make the best of what they can. And the, you know what? And I've just, I need a slap. 
So if you're feeling down and you need to kick up the bum, then yeah, I'm hoping that I can give you it because seriously, you don't get long in life, you really don't. And so you've got to make the best of it while you can. And time seriously just flies. Oh, absolutely, it flies. So there you go. Anyway, I'm going to go because I've got to get this videos uploaded and then I'm, I'm going to have a little lie down because I've got a bit of a headache. But I should be fine and I shall see you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom.